internal soul of that person. So Rembrandt for him too, it is that. And the light certainly is used in order to, for him to be able to explore the intentions of the soul. So uh, I particularly love his, the series of portraits he did of elderly people because the, the, the wrinkles and the expression, a lot of pathos, a lot of feeling, the hardships of their life, the, the very, you know, the losses, the, the pain, the richness of the lives that they have led. led, led. So here is a typical Rembrandt portrait. Another one. So I, I just love the series of the elderly gentlemen. Some of them, as I said, like the previous gentleman is a rabbi, a contemporary of Rembrandt. Some of them are prophets that he has painted from the Old Testament. Um, and often for the, I mean, as many artists have done, it, he might be painting a poor prophet from the Old Testament, but the sitter will be somebody that he will, if he sees somebody that to him will be the right sitter for Moses, he would have somebody from his neighborhood sit for him, you know? So, I mean, just the, the, the brush strokes and the wispy hair, the delicacy, the highlights, the expression, it's, it's just so soft and beautiful. So the emphasis is always the highlight, you know, the best lit is the focal point of the painting and then everything else is dark and diffused and blurred and fuzzy. So it's very clear what he wants to emphasize just by the, the light. And then another Old, Old Testament prophet sitting and reading the light for this. In this case it is, no I think the painting is flipped because he never, I apologize for that. It's always top left. This is a very, very famous painting called The Night Watch by uh, Rembrandt. This is earlier than the ones I was showing you. As, his, as he became older, the paintings became simpler. The brushstroke became rougher. And it was almost kind of impressionistic. It wasn't very detailed. With time, the, the paintings became sketchier. Um, in terms of the textures. This is earlier, this is called the Night Watch, and this is not religious. Because what you had in Holland, now as I may have mentioned last time, but during the Renaissance you also had the development of guilds, G-U-I-L-D. A guild is a professional association. So because you have now this uh, the rise of a merchant class. So you also have the rise of these various guilds. So you had the, the, the cloth merchants guild. You would have the paper merchants guild. You would have an architectural guild. It's almost like the American Medical Association where doctors are registered and they um, kind of uh, ensure that the professional ethics are followed. They also protect the rights of doctors against being sued and so on. So these professional associations called guilds developed. So this is a portrait of such a guild where the gentleman belonging to this guild, it's a group portrait. And so uh, this is very, very famous. It's about the size of that wall and it's in the Reich Museum in Amsterdam. It's the highlight of that. And so, you know, you, a whole room is devoted to it by Rembrandt. And again, you can see light coming from the top left and hitting certain people. And then people have wondered, is that an angel? Why is this little girl here? There are lots of different, I mean, uh, theories about that. Is it a daughter of one of the guild members? We don't know for sure. But what you can see is that overall there's a general uniformity, but individuals' faces are different because they are actual portraits of the guild members. Each one paid so much to be painted, and so they collected the money and paid Rembrandt for the whole painting. 